Hi there, this is Noah with ERS. So for Minute Monday this week, I want to talk about the slow season. What do we do during the slow season when we've got next to no business, which is what this time of year is for the vast majority of us? Well, best thing to do during those times is work on SEO and marketing. Those are the things that are going to help you grow your business. And this time of year, since you have more time, again, it's the best time to do that. Now, the other thing about it is that with SEO, it typically takes Google a little while to notice that you've got new content on your website and to start ranking you higher. So if you start on that now in January, typically by you know February or March or so when people are starting to think about booking events, well, maybe your rankings have improved by then. And as we all know, once that part of the season really ramps up, you know, you're going to have a harder time putting in the time to do your SEO. The other thing is marketing. So great time of year to send out postcards to all the local schools. I know that that's really old school, but it's still pretty effective for a lot of people. And given that it's the very beginning of the spring semester for most schools, it's uh, the time of year when they're starting to think about what they might want to do for any end of year parties and stuff like that. So again, that's pretty effective as old school as it is for a lot of people. It's also a great time of year to take a look at your Google ads and see what's worked in the past and what might work in the future. Again, you're not going to have time once the, the busy season ramps up. So we have support for SEO and Google ads, and you can feel free to learn more about that and set an appointment to discuss that with us if you like by scanning the QR code that you'll see on the screen right now or clicking on the link in the description below. So hope this is helpful, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.